In this video, I am going to show you how to set up a successful gravity form submission as a lead for Google Analytics 4 or GA4. My name is Nasim and I am a top rated freelancer on Upwork with more than 6 years of working experience. I would love to share my experience and teach people how to build digital skills and make money from home. So if you want to stay up to date, then consider subscribing to this channel. And don't forget to check this video description because I will give all the resource link on there. So let's back to this topic. This is actually a gravity form which is embedded on their official website but it's no problem you can do it for your website. And I will show you how you can set up the successful form tracking not just a button click. So and you can see button click it's actual not a conversion. So only the successful and full email submission is conversion and here is no thank you page only a thank you message is here i will use google tag manager to set up my conversion tracking because this is easy reliable and smart way to set up conversion tracking and also we can install all the tracking in one place let's go to google tag manager and try to find a unique trigger for sending this event so first of all we need to go on the preview mode and do the test event and make sure your website need to be connected with Google Tag Manager and then you can go on the preview mode and here you can see my website is opening on the preview mode so this is actually temporary connected with Google Tag Manager and then go a test event so actually I am doing a test event you can see the successful message is here and if I go on the tag assistant then a unique event is here which is custom event so this is actually uh, our trigger and we are going to send this event and then uh, go to trigger and make a custom event so hit the new button and then select a custom event and then keep paste exact same name that uh, I copied just copy and paste and rename it so it's our trigger is ready now we need to make a tag so go to tag and then hit the new and try to find the template so if i hit the tag configuration then i am able to get the tag templates from here so let's click on google analytics and then you can see here is the google tag so we need to configure our google tag first and for setup google tag we need a measurement id so actually you will get from the measurement id in your ga4 dashboard and the trigger i am choosing which is all page because google tag is the basic connection so that's why all page and then save it and our google tag is ready and click on new and then choose the event so this is ga4 event and uh, we need to input our same measurement id here so you can see i am oh sorry it's not will be the lead uh, i didn't make any constant variable so i am just pasting that same measurement id and you can see google tag found in this container and here is very important thing which is the lead event so it's actually event name that uh, we will see on our analytic dashboard and i have select the trigger and rename it it i don't use any rename and here it is and now it's time to check it so click on preview and do that test again so you can see our website is on the preview mode and if i input the email here and uh, it's actually complete email and if i hit the subscribe button then uh, you can see yeah this is successful and let's go to google analytics dashboard and then go to the real time view and then you will be able to see here is the lead event that we have made recently for getting that successful event so and you can see our all the tag is fired so that's mean it's working fine so actually our setup is done and when you submit and publish this test version 
it will start working so that's it if you need my assist open my calendar link and book a 15 minute free pre-project call with your date and time and then fill up a little steps i would love to assist you if you think this video was useful then hit the thumbs up because it helps me to continue working on this channel and if you want to see more video from me then consider subscribing to this channel i will see you on the next video till then bye have a good day